What's up everybody? Danger Rock here. Today we're going to be looking at this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Raphael action figure. I just picked this guy up at Ross um, not too long ago and I really like the way he looks. He looks just like his um, 80s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Really nice artwork on the box. As you can see we get all these um, accessories with him that looks really cool. And this is actually a brand I haven't heard of. It says B-S-T-A-X-N at the top. Um, best features, articulation, and assortment. So that's really cool. Here we got a nice picture of Raphael right here. The TMNT logo. A picture of all four turtles on the side. On the back, we get another nice picture of Raphael with um, a read up right here that says... This hothead is also the most opinionated, impulsive, and restless turtle. Raphael loves nothing more than to test himself in battle and trains for sheer enjoyment. He's usually the one to leap into action, and it's nearly impossible to get him to back down. Raphael is a weapon of choice, twin size, multiple accessories. So it looks like here you get um, a ninja star, his size, two face sculpts, and two sets of interchangeable hands. So that's really cool. Here it says incredible sculpted details. Nothing really at the bottom. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna open this guy up. I believe he opens up from the side here. There we go. Rip this package open, and he looks really good. Now let's get him out of there. And see what we got. So, before we take a look at Raphael himself, going to take a look at his um, accessories. Let's just get them all out of there. And I really like the details on his accessories right here. So here we got both of his size, which look really cool. Here we get a Another face sculpt. Here we have his ninja star and a piece it looks like for his belt. We got two it looks like gripping hands. And another set of hands. And this. Which... It all looks really cool to me. So now let's take a closer look at the figure. And I really like this right off the bat. I really like the green paint color that they decided to use. His face sculpt looks great. Looks very reminiscent of the cartoon. I really like the R right here on his um, belt. Really nice coloring for his um, knee pads right here. And I believe this clips on right on the back of him, right here. So if we want to have him with his weapons. Doesn't look like it wants to stay in there too well, though. We'll just um, make do with the way it is for now. So articulation on this guy, you can fully rotate his head a full 360. His head can pivot up and down just a little bit. He has some butterfly joints. His arms go up that far. They bend at the elbows. They swivel at the elbows. They turn in the wrist. His feet can kick outward that far. He can bend at the knees. He has ankle pivoting right here. 
and it doesn't look like he has any chest articulation. I like this solid plastic that they use right here. It's really, really cool. And I really like the dark green that they use right here on his shell. I think it looks really cool. And at the bottom of his feet right here, we can see where it says, um, here it says the loyal subjects right there. Here it says 2024 Viacom made in China. So it's a really nice um, figure. Now, what I want to do is let's get him with some of his um, accessories. Let's see if these size fit right into his hands right there, which they don't. You would need um, the gripping hands for that. There we go. It's almost like you have to squeeze them in there a little bit. It's not a perfect fit, but it is really cool. There we go. And let's get a hand where we could see him holding his um, Ninja Star. Now that's really cool. And you take his accessories and you port them right in here. There we go. And that looks really cool. So I'm trying to figure out a way to snap it on the back of him right here. There we go, that snapped right into place. And now that snapped right into place. So there we go, it looks a lot better. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna change um, his hands and put on him some gripping hands. See if we can um, get him to hold some of his accessories. So let's take one of his size right here and put it in his hands, which it doesn't really want to go take his other weapon and put it in here there we go go and now let's try that other um, head sculpt and see how it looks it's really hard to snap in place And there we go. So it's a really nice um, figure. I really like it a lot. Now, by doing that, his shell is now extremely loose. Let's see if we can get him in a nice pose right here. Here we go. It's a nice looking figure. And what we're gonna do now 
is compare him to another Ninja Turtles figure that I have. Here we have the movie Turtles, Raphael from Playmates. As you can see, this guy has a lot more detail than this one right here, which they're both different versions of the character, so that's really cool. And um, this guy right here, for the price point that I got him for, I can't really complain about him. I, I, I like him very much. I, I still like the older Turtles a lot better in my opinion, but if you're looking for detail and lots of articulation, this one's the way to go. And um, yeah, this has been my review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Raphael figure. If you like this video, please leave a like. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And once we reach a thousand subscribers on this channel, I will be doing a full collection video. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching as always. And I'll see you guys on the next video review.